fstoppers.com teamed up with Joey Wright to create the ultimate tutorial on swimwear photography. This is the behind the scenes. To learn more about the full tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. Currently 5 a.m. And we have to do this for nine days in a row. I'm not excited. Do not be cheery with me this morning. My, my douchey of stoppers. <laughs> my douchey. You're a douche too. I'm a douchey. Don't call me a douche. I'm a douchey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> The day before, Lara had scouted this incredible private beach and she met the manager of the location and he actually allowed us to come early before the beach was set to open. Is this the work zone right here? Yes, and this is the holy grail. <laughs> US power jacks. These are rare around here. While Shayna was in makeup, we decided to walk around and get some B-roll shots of the area. So it's the first day of filming right now and the sun is almost coming up. We've got some sunlight and uh, we just did our intro uh, with Joey the first time he's kind of introducing what we're going to be filming today. What's the problem? I just don't know what the game plan is. Like we've talked about scouting and now it's like, all right, we have to do something. I think it might be wise now to just start talking about like a little bit more details. So as you can see, we are figuring things out as always, but that's how the first day of production always goes on these things. The first lesson we filmed was all about using natural light to sculpt your model without any sort of modifiers whatsoever. So at this point, we have orbited around Shayna 180 degrees. We've made a half circle, so we really have gotten all angles of the light. Let's see a comparison of all those positions side by side. Not one is necessarily better than the other, they're just different. It gives you a great way to get variety without changing locations by just simply moving. How do you feel things are going? I think things are going great. Yeah? Yeah, I feel very comfortable Feeling good? Right now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's really hard to complain. Don't make it look like I'm stressed out or anything. Or need a, <laughs> need a break uh, from this torturous work. Yes, life's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I usually hate working when it's so hot outside. I'm having a really good time though. This is actually fun. While Chris got aerial shots with his drone, we continued filming natural light lessons with Mela. Point your nose a little more in the direction of the sun, and that will help us keep that shadow from cutting across her face. We're starting to get to the point where the shadows are, are really starting to get low on her, um, but I think it's still acceptable. And unlike before, when we were on the other side of the pier, we've, we've held on to all of the detail and the color and the pier and the background. Okay, so I want you to bring your chin down just a little bit. Okay, good. Squint the eyes. Perfect. Okay, not too much. Your eyes are closed now. Okay, good. Open them up a little bit. Okay, come on. Come Why on. Is she sleeping. You can't sleep on. Okay, squint a little bit more. There we go. Good. Turn your nose toward me a little bit. Great, great. Yeah, you're doing really good. Okay. Cool, I think I got it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the front. <laughs> I told you you're not allowed to bring people to the shoot. So we are doing the final shot on the very first day of filming. And uh, Joey's found this really cool cave. The sun's a little bit too high overhead. So uh, we've retreated to shade. So I like Mela's pose here. I'm shooting this at three quarter because if I shoot this at full length, what I'm gonna end up with is her foot is chopped off by that rock. So I'm just gonna stick keep my framing up tight. Also, if I go too wide, I'm gonna start to get some of more of this rock, which is way overexposed. Yeah. 
Overall, really good shoot. It's exciting to have the first mini session done, and we're just kind of building on the basics, and everything went perfectly. Uh, um, um, I like on a hotline bang. Call me on a hotline bang. La 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 la. Call me on a hotline bang. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> Rule number one, never laugh with your models. Rule number two, always talk down to your models. You! You suck! You suck! Yeah, get short models so it's easier to talk down to them. It's you down, down there. there. What is this? That's um, it probably had a name, but um, you know what? I'm hungry, man. So, hell with that fish. <laughs> So the power has gone out, at least in the house, possibly the entire island. It's been down for about 30 minutes, but that means we cannot connect to the server. This is the problem with filming on an island or potentially third world country because the Synology box right here, our server, is doesn't operate on any sort of battery. Geez, that looks like a lot of wasted cheese. You don't need to be filming this right now, Chelsea. This is like perfect behind the scenes stuff, so what happened? I just opened the fridge and you know who was in here right before me? The cheese jumped out. Just a little bit. Voila! The chef always gets to lick the spoon. We did the sunrise shoot early this morning and now we're doing sunset. We're putting Joey in some hard situations where we're forcing him to take pictures in particular areas where the light's not so good and he's not allowed to use any modifiers yet. So I went ahead from the last shot, I moved myself about 10 feet over to the left and I picked up on more of the coastline and less of that sky to avoid that really blown out detailless sky. I think there's one better solution here to maybe get a little bit of a more interesting background so I'm gonna try moving the other direction. And this time I'm gonna use the ocean. I'm gonna try to get up a little bit on the slope to shoot downward so I can pick up on the much darker water, which is way darker than the sky, to try to use that as a background for her instead. We're gonna try to get one more pose out of Lisa before we lose the sun. The sun is right on the horizon. And a typical little rule is you can hold your hand out and for every hand between the sun and the water, you have about a full hour. So right now, we've got probably five, seven minutes left. One of my favorite things about this house is getting a beer after the shoot is over with and walking out to the sunset. What do you think about the sunset? It is gorgeous. Wow, colors are crazy. This is our view from the top of the terrace. And I'm going to run down and get my time-lapse camera. I did enough time-lapses on Elia Licardi's last tutorial that I feel like I have a pretty good handle on it, but we just have to take so much B footage to fill in all the gaps. So hopefully this one turns out good. Give me a little update, what's for dinner tonight? We have a lovely vegetable stir fry here going on. We've got some uh, bean sprouts, mushrooms, broccoli, you know the norm. We got some uh, chicken. And then what are you working on over here? Sorry. Oh, working on the shrimp. So we have two options, chicken and shrimp. 
Joey. 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 It's time for dinner. Do you want to sleep through dinner again? No. Well, if you don't want to sleep through dinner, then come get dinner. Patrick asked for some new sunglasses today, and they bought him some. It looks really good. They look so good. So good. Really really good. No, no, these. These look really good. They're, they're really oh, whoa! I didn't even know what was happening. Yeah, never mind the drone footage. All right, so Joey is about to coach the girls on how to walk. For the behind the scenes video, this is the B-roll we were shooting today, and he was like, hold on a minute, I gotta show them how to walk. All right, so, what he said, right? It's kind of crossing, and walking. <laughs> you look like you're about to fall over. <laughs> you can do it more gracefully. Okay, so I told him back to the same time. Or sleeping. After a very successful first day of shooting, everybody was in a great mood. To learn more about this entire tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash store and make sure you tune in for next week's video when we take a break to go cliff jumping and we put our telephoto lenses to great use. Touch your toes. Yes, touch your, touch your toes. No way, dude. <laughs>